Hi, I've just completed installing my retractable microphone into the torso of my B9 robot. You can see it right there. Um, what's unique about this is it is not screwed to the body like some of the other replicas I've seen. You can actually remove it and pull it out to about 17 inches. And um, I'll show you how that's done in a minute. Uh, it was kind of a challenge as to how to figure out how to get it in and be able to pull it out and make it look like a real microphone and not snap back and really uh, damage something. So um, I'll show you how I did all that in a minute. Basically, like I said, you could pull it out. Uh, making it was a whole other story. Um, I think it came out looking pretty realistic. Um, it was uh, made out of aluminum. Uh, a guy that I met on the B9 Builders Club forum actually made the, uh, turned the metal on a lay, I guess, and um, gave it to me, or sold it to me as a blank. Um, and I finished it up, painted it, uh, built the, the top section that you can see there, attached the bottom, this is the end of it, an existing mic that I adapted to it with a regular bolt and a screw, screwed it in the back of it. Um, but as you can see, it fits right, nicely right into there and um, snaps in and it's pretty, it won't come out by itself. So it comes out to a length of 17 inches. I would like to have gotten it farther, but the restrictions inside the torso, um, what I had to work with just didn't allow me to do it. Um, again, you can, somebody drops it it won't snap back. It just kind of lays there uh, unless you help it in and put it in there. So it, it fits pretty good. looks nice and straight. Um, I did uh, put a, uh, a uh, clear coat over it just because this is going to get some use and uh, clear coat of this pretty good because it's you know just protect the paint. Uh, I'm eventually going to wire in a switch in there uh, so when you pull it out the um, CS3 system that I'm using will know it and he'll be able to speak a phrase like hey don't play with my microphone or <laughs> um, that microphones used for only communicating with the crew of the Jupiter 2 stuff like that. Uh, so anyway let's go inside um, and you'll see how I did inside here. Hopefully I can get a good view of it. Um, here uh, you can see how it lays in there. I, I made a little roller uh, for the microphone cord to roll up on and I've attached it to the back of the, the programming bay. This was already there. It holds in one of the knobs in the front. I did add this to here and it's way up in the corner so you really can't see it from the again from the from the front uh, way up there so again you can't see it when the doors are closed not at all or you have to really look up in there to see it but anyway getting back to the mechanism um, it's simple it just goes in the, the microphone goes inside here through a hole that in the torso comes in and kind of fits and lays right on that roller and then when it's pulled out it comes in and stops. Now you wonder what I use for a feedback. It's uh, basically all it is is one of those key holders that I used by uh, Keyback. It's a Kevlar cord Basically, here it is, key back, and it's uh, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. I made a little bracket that I attached to the um, the hooks on the top of the torso up there, and uh, so when it pulls out, it just comes in and it out. Uh, finding a spot for it was tricky because I didn't want it to interfere with arms that are becoming in and out here, and. Uh, also, the where the uh, if you can see the CSS is going to and that's the CSS back there. You can see it back there how that sticks up into the torso. Um, 
I had to make sure that when it slid, the CSS slid in there, it will go right by and not hang up on it. I want to be able to remove this really nice and easily. So anyway, that's it. Um, Basically, it's uh, pretty simple, but it was hard for me to figure out. I guess I'm not as smart as I thought I was. It took me about a month to build all this. And again, there's a, there it is from the top. It's uh, really pretty, pretty simple. Anyway, thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.